Within a growth-oriented energy transition, we risk cleaning our air while also at the same time polluting our waters and our ecosystems. Therefore, we need a different approach to what the energy transition looks like. The EU's attempt at reducing uh, the EU's ecological impacts are through the process of what is called green growth or decoupling um, economic growth from environmental impacts. The issue with that is that it largely focuses specifically on carbon emissions while it misses the goals of uh, other ecological impacts such as water, waste, uh, biodiversity loss, etc. Without actually questioning what we're electrifying for, to whom the energy belongs to, and to what social needs they're actually required, uh, we risk cleaning our air while also polluting our waters. Electrification is needed. It needs to absolutely be behind a materials reduction framework. What we need to do is that the EU provides alternative growth models and at that point we will have a more objective and scientific view of how much materials we actually need for the energy transition. And what's not really being taken into account is how alternative technologies can actually reduce the amount of lithium that is demanded and particularly sodium is an interesting technology uh, to be able to reduce the amount of impacts from lithium sourcing. The idea of sustainable mining tries to incorporate sustainability with extraction and that is fundamentally uh, counter to the idea of true sustainability. And the pressure from shareholders to gain that short-term profit from these mining operations risks the ability for mining companies to become truly responsible. And what we need is actually to, to have a different approach to what extraction looks like. One that compensates, of course, for ecological and social harms, but also one that reduces its impacts on the ground and on people.